By this point, I'm sure you've all heard the news. Drake's got a whole bunch of new tattoos and the internet's having a field day with it. Uh, and yeah, I, I just don't enjoy it. It's not an enjoyable experience for me and I don't like any of you. <laughs> Needless to say, we're all having a bit of fun at my man Aubrey's expense. But if you take a closer look at the over 30 tattoos that Drake has had inked onto his body, you'll quickly figure out that they tell a story similar to his music. Namely, that Drake might have started from the bottom, but he's never going to forget the people that helped him make it to the top. While recently vacationing in Barbados, Drake was photographed shirtless on the beach, and that's what kicked off this entire conversation. And while a majority of his body art pays tribute to the people and artists that have helped him along his journey, he's also got some extremely off-kilter and straight-up kooky designs on his body. It's not a secret that Drake has built up quite the tattoo resume over the years, and a majority of his work has been done by superstar Belgian artist Inal Bursikov. The average price for a tattoo the size of which Drake has covering most of his his body is generally around $250 to $500, depending upon the artist. But of course, when you're dealing with the best of the best in terms of their craft, someone like that would probably cost a lot more than that. While I don't have any definite numbers to give you guys, it wouldn't surprise me to find out that Drake paid close to a grand for each of the many tattoos that adorn his body. Which means without even taking into account his natural talent, when Drake's just walking around and living his everyday life, he's already worth at least $30,000. Of course, a lot of you seem to have issues with how Drake's ink looks, so maybe you wouldn't pay that much. To be honest, even I have to admit that his body art is a little disorganized. So why don't we take a look at as many of his tattoos as we can to see if there's any method to his madness. Hey guys, it's Kara and we're trying something new today on this channel. We bring you the tattoo tour. We're kicking off our very first installment with everyone's favorite Canadian rapper, Drake. Since this one's new, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to leave some ideas for other artists whose tattoo game you'd like to take a closer look at. We do other stuff on this channel like house tours and even before and afters with some new ones on the likes of Britney Spears and TikTok talk star Charlie D'Amelio, so be sure to check those out. Don't forget to like, hit subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Now let's get into this video. Alright guys, like I mentioned off the top, I'm going to take a look at close to 30 tattoos in this video, which means I'm going to fly through them as quickly as I can, so hold on to your hold-ons. Let's start with the celebrity tributes that Drake has enshrined across different parts of his body. First up is Aaliyah. Drake never knew this talented singer because she passed away as the result of a plane crash back in 2001, but Aubrey has expressed an obsession with her throughout his entire career. In 2010, on the 9 year anniversary of her death, he penned a letter to her and wrote, Not only was I one of your biggest fans, but I was truly in love with you. Speaking of talented female singers, another woman that Drake has on his body is 61 year old Sade, situated on the left side of his torso. Drake first met Sade during the course of his European tour and was mesmerized by her. He has made multiple references to her in his music and even sampled a track of hers in 2010's Unforgettable. Producer 40's real name is Noah James Shabib and he's produced all of Drake's albums and is a co-founder of the OVO sound label, which means he gets a place of prominence on Drake's body. Body, taking up a sizable chunk of his back. And yes, Drake has a tattoo of another rapper on his body, and it's none other than Lil Wayne, who's inked forever on Drake's left tricep. The New Orleans rapper helped Drake rise to the top by providing him a platform early on with his Young Money Entertainment label. Would any tattoo collection be complete without at least one image of an ex, considering how deeply in love with Riri Drake seemed to be? Most of all, we love the woman who hasn't changed since day one. It shouldn't be any surprise that he got her face inked on his body where it'll live forever. Some people seem to think she's eating an ice cream in this portrait. What do you guys think? Next up is Denzel Washington. Yep, Drake had a portrait of Denzel inked on his form depicting Denzel's character Bleak from Spike Lee's film Mo Better Blues. Of all the roles Denzel's played, I'm not sure why he chose that one. And not say something like Training Day. Cause let's face it, a tattoo like that looks like this. Would have looked pretty awesome. Uh, well, at least what he got looks pretty classy. This one, I'm just gonna let speak for itself. Yep, Harry Potter and Hedwig. That's all. Let's move along, folks. Drake found himself in some hot water after getting this forum tattoo that saw him adding himself to the iconic Abbey Road photo of the Beatles after breaking the band's record of having the most number of Billboard Hot 100 top 10 songs in a single calendar year back in 2018. Hey, I'm as big of a fan of the Beatles as there is, but even I have to admit that when you've accomplished what Drake 
has to this point, you're allowed to flex a little. Our final celebrity tattoo is this look at Steph Curry and Kevin Durant's jersey numbers located on Drake's left arm. Below Steph's 30, it reads gifted, and below Durant's former 35 is the phrase snipe. Taken together, this ink celebrates one of the greatest NBA duos of Drake's generation. All right, now let's get into some of Drake's more bizarre tattoos before we circle back to the tributes he has to his family. I don't even know what to say about this one. This tattoo is reportedly inked by Swedish tattoo artist Nicky Norberg. Speculation on this tat is that he's a big fan of this French cologne, or it's just because the name of it is somewhat similar to his own. Right next to the Dracar Noir bottle is this image of a flaming skull with the phrase untruly written just below it on his upper left arm. This tattoo was inspired by Jamaican dance hall star Pop Can and was inked by famous tattoo artist Dr. Wu. This is another tattoo created for Drake by Nicky Norberg. It was apparently part of the promotional artwork for his playlist More Life. This one expresses Drake's tribute to North London group and record label Boy Better Know. It's inked in black and grey gothic font on the left front side of his shoulder. One of Drake's most infamous tattoos, his praying hands with the number 6 above it, was inked on his right forearm by Dr. Wu in Hollywood. The 6 is most likely a reference to Toronto's area code 416, which we'll see again in just a moment. Close by this iconic tat is one that's a little less so, a jack-o'-lantern, because why not? The Eye of Horus is an ancient Egyptian symbol that's on Drake's left arm. It's a symbol used for protection, royal power, and good health, and if you take a look at Drake's life, I'd say it's working its magic and doing all those things. This compass image located close to the Eye of Horus apparently represents Toronto and its location in the eastern part of Canada where Drake was born and raised. Drake's also got a lion's head inked on his left forearm with the words October Leonharda written around it. October is a special month for Drake with it being his birth month and all, while that last word is apparently inspired by the time he spent with twin Swedish supermodels Elizabeth and Victoria Leonharda who he's been seen hanging around with. I don't know what happened during that party, but it must have been legendary for Drake to always want to remember it. Here's another Canadian landmark, the CN Tower. Drake got it tattooed on his right bicep so that he could take Toronto with him no matter where he went. Again, this is a tribute to the Toronto Area Code, which for some reason is one of Drake's favourite and most used references. I suppose it's because he was part of the last generation that spent an early part of their youth having to memorise phone numbers before we all got smartphones. This Houston Astros logo appears on Drake's right shoulder and apparently he considers H-Town a second home, having once rapped. H-Town, my second home like I'm James Harden. Random, right? This tat has a pop of colour to it with its pinkish feathers in X020 and black and red inked on his left shoulder blade. This is a reference to Drake's friend The Weeknd who was once dubbed the songbird of his generation. Probably the biggest tattoo that Drake has on him, this chest tattoo is a symbol of Drake's company, October's very own, and record label OVO Sound. In all, Bursakov is the man responsible for this beauty, which is probably why Jake has returned to him time and time again for most of his work. Alright, let's end things by taking a look at the tattoos that honour Drake's family and closest friends. This piece on his left forearm pays tribute to his friend Anthony Fifth Soares. Drake got this tat after falling into deep grief after the loss of his friend who passed away in Toronto after being shot on the streets. Drake's relationship with his father Dennis might be a bit strained but that didn't stop him from getting a tattoo of his father's mugshot on the backside of his right arm. By doing so, he is a constant reminder of the darker times his father had to face in his life. Drake has one said that without his uncle Steve there would be no Drake and so the hit maker had his uncle forever enshrined on his upper back. Drake credits his uncle with inspiring him to pursue music. Speaking of influences, Drake always considered his grandma Evelyn his lucky charm and muse. She guided him throughout his music career before passing away in 2012. Of course, his family collection of tattoos wouldn't be complete without inking the matriarch of his family onto his back as well. Drake paid tribute to his mom Sandy Graham with this piece. Our final entry in this series is one of Drake's newest ones for sure, his brand new baby boy Adonis. Drake had this portrait inked onto his right forearm so that Adonis will always be seated at the right hand of his father. Phew, we made it guys. I don't think I've ever spent so much time looking at tattoos in my life. Before I started this video, I had no idea that Drake had so much ink. Now I think the only question left to ask is, what's he going to get next? Over the years, Drake has promised, or perhaps the most appropriate word is threatened, to get Celine Dion's face etched onto his body. In fact, this rumour is so prevalent that it's even made its way to Celine herself and this is what she had to say. Please Drake, I love you very much. <laughs> can I tell you something? Don't do that. You can write me love letters, you can send me autographs for my kids, 
You can come and visit. I can have you home for lunch or dinner. Well, you heard her, Drake. The question is, are you gonna listen? There's still a pretty big empty spot on your back and I think Celine's face might fit there perfectly. Your move, Drake, your move. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more in this series, then make sure you let us know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.